Hey, what's going on? It's I am Beowulf, and uh, whew, I'm excited about talking about today's video. Um, I've been talking a while, and I appreciate all my subscribers. You know, we've built this into something big pretty fast, having over 2,000 subscribers plus. It's real exciting. So I figure I want to get back to you guys and do a giveaway. Um, I was going to do the Sea Dew Life Fest giveaway, and then when I took the trip to Florida, I don't know if somebody like stole it on my jet ski when I went inside a gas station or something. Because when I got home, it was like three, four in the morning, and then it just like I had to wrap all my stuff because I thought there was going to be flooding in my home. And then today I was posting up on the link. And then I'm trying to find out where this life vest is to do the giveaway and I can't find it. So it's not at my house. So it, somebody must have like, cause I, I'm pretty positive I put it inside the front storage of the jet ski and I had other stuff in there, but somebody must have quickly opened it, took that and just ran. Um, so that's kind of disappointing, but you know, whatever. I'll do other giveaways with life vests and stuff in the future. So the first giveaway I want to give out, um, First off, I want to say that if you aren't aware, I used to professionally race cars back between, what was that, 2004 to 2009. I stopped doing it. The main reason I stopped doing it was because it, it kind of makes a difference what age my viewers are. But uh, like 2008, that's when the, the huge uh, economic crisis that happened. So there was a lot of businesses that were you know, not doing um, Oh, best way to say it. they were getting uh, not putting marketing money towards racing so it's very hard to get sponsorship and then at the time too I was running uh, burst up racing we re used to work on high-end cars performance parts and racing gear and stuff and I really felt in like 2009 like 2008 we weren't really affected and then 2009 happened and boom we were like here and we went like down like that real fast and that it's it's amazing that the industry is even still around to be honest because what I remember back in uh, 2009 I, if you told me right now like stuff like this would exist even like let's say c -Dews, I wouldn't believed it um, so anyways I had these like vintage shirts I used to sell back then and recently I found this box that had all these like mint condition the brand new but they're from oh see they have to be at least from like 2007 2008 so the t-shirts are over 10 years old so it's, they're in great shape you can still wear them but it's like a it's a real vintage shirt so let me show you the shirt all right so for the first giveaway it's a size large it's a gildan shirt really nice comfy shirt um and it has the original burst up racing logo on there so that'll be the first giveaway now how to enter on the giveaway i'm going to put the description at the bottom so you click on that and it shows all the different ways you can get an entry in it. It's completely free to do. Um, and I'm excited about doing this because I really like to, my goal is to do a lot of giveaways a month, maybe all the way up to like five or 10 giveaways a month. Uh, I want to give back because you guys are taking your time to subscribe to see what I'm up to, what adventures, jet skiing stuff I'm doing. And I appreciate that. So I want to give back to you guys and my goal is to like 2019, I want to purchase the new uh, 2019 Sea-Doo Spark Tricks. The one with the speakers on it, you guys have had to see the footage. So what I want to do is purchase one of those, do a bunch of stuff to it, like everything possible to make that thing faster, awesome, and then do a giveaway with it is what I'd like to do. And I think that'd be a neat thing because um, you know, the nice thing is like a car, you know, like somebody has to be a certain age to drive. And most places like jet skis, you know, you don't have to be 18 to ride it. So um, that's kind of cool. We're doing a giveaway with that. And that's something I want to do in the future. But the only way to make this happen is we got to have other giveaways get big and build a YouTube channel big to do that. So what I need you guys to do is, you know, just in general, not with just the giveaway, but just make sure, you know, when I post a video, you guys share it with your friends. You know, so we build this into the huge Beowulf nation, and I'm gonna be giving back to all you guys, let alone I'll be coming out with some really awesome merchandise too, like t-shirts, hats, all that kind of cool stuff. That's what's in the works. I'm still working on launching the imbeowulf.com. I know I've been saying it, but I just, I gotta get the free time with doing it, so that's why I'm putting a lot more time into doing that too, and especially making more uh, videos, because right now with having like two hurricanes in the last, uh, Two months, 
it's I'm trying my best to do what I can so um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos and whatnot and uh, so let me give you the details though of when the this starts and ends all right so it starts today October 13th and ends October 27th at noon so make sure you guys click that link at the bottom uh, with the description with the giveaway figure out how you enter and I wish you guys the best of luck with that now let's talk about some other stuff going on so what you guys might have seen here is it's I've had I don't know if you've seen in past videos but I've had well no this is the crazy thing I, I'm not embarrassed to share this so let me see so you see this flooding up there look at that it's pretty big so what happened is is um, like where I live in the Midwest you have your um, what we call it air handler if it's electric or a furnace if it's gas you have those down in your basement well here in South Carolina there is no basements anywhere and you're um, and it's all electric here too there's no out here there's no natural gas so it's all electric so you have an electric furnace so right up there in my uh, attic my garage is where the air handler is and I had my house inspected the house is amazing but then the inspector did not look to see it wasn't up to code of how uh, it's wrapped around there. So anyways, it started leaking and everything's fixed now. And months ago I got fixed, but then I've been the works of gonna, uh, luckily there's no like mold or any of that kind of bad stuff. So I gotta, uh, there's like certain type of paint we, you wanna do over this, like a primer or something. So that's what I'm gonna do up there. So then what happened is, the fluorescent light like that one went bad and I don't know if it was from water getting on it or not it was like it happened a couple of weeks later so I've had a lot of videos where my garage like really dark and if you look here on this side it's real light and that side it's not as light and it's like awesome lighting in here so what I did and see the thing is well I installed these myself so these were these sell these at um, Home Depot and there is a lot smaller because you can see the holes from there, uh, there to there. So that used to be a lot bigger. And it's an LED light, so it's not fluorescent. And then the weird thing is how it mounts. That's the only way I can get it. So it's like sideways. I really wanted to be like how the other one was, which I don't care. I actually think it's kind of good because then it gives it like mixed lighting when the garage is open or closed. So then my features, I want to add one there. And then figure out it has some electrician, because I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Is that put one like, I don't know, like right in here. So you got three, and I think of three of these, because this is like super bright in here. You get a, one there, another there, it's gonna be awesome how lit it's gonna be. Especially when it's darker. Or when I'm doing install videos that we get some like awesome lighting because I'll tell you right now the lighting here This is like it's really nice. It's like it looks like really like I'm outside in the Sun So uh, and then let's talk about some other updates. So uh, some people See my install video when I saw installed the Riva racing uh, catch can on my 2018 RXPX 300 and had some questions how this all works now first off some people are asking there are some questions so it doesn't matter if you have a supercharged turbo naturally aspirated all what happens this is in any type of engine like a car your truck whatnot is oil could get put in the intake back in your engine which is not good for your valves and all the internals of your engine it's probably not the best thing especially with supercharged or turbocharged cars because see like what happens is it gets circled around and, bit, and gets sucked in and it's going to be sucked in into the uh the intercooler like the pat earlier on videos people might seen where my rx tx 300 wasn't doing the, the speed of what it should be is because that and i don't know if people saw that in past videos is there was oil that got in because i didn't put a catch can in i put like i think i had like 45 hours or whatnot and it had a fair amount of hours and I had um, Oil get into the intercooler and that's why the thing didn't run as fast and also too, what uh, Somebody had up with Reva race and told me what you had to do with these on um, the 300 engines is you should run your oil Right at the halfway part of the dipstick So you got full low and mid so you want to put it right at the mid and he said that really helps with not having engine oil get in there let alone with the catch cans 
um, catches that too. It's a must. What I want to get at is somebody asked the other question too is how often do you have to, to drain this? Well right now you see this, it's, I haven't really put, a, like I don't even want to say I've put an hour on it and um, since I installed it and there's no oil in there yet. So this isn't something, but if let's say you had the oil at full or more than full, this thing would fill up really fast every time you ride. Well right now everything's right at the right specs, so it's not as much to worry about with that. Um, so definitely this is like kind of a must thing and it doesn't matter like I said in the past if you're racing them or not. I mean I, my goal over the winter is I am both of these is I think I'm going to replace like um, the valve springs and all that on this not just because it make it faster so I just want this engine to be like as bulletproof as possible. I don't want to have it be in the middle of the season or riding doing videos and these engines go because it's something I didn't want to spend a little money on into. So I have some of my future of what I'm going to do with them. And then um, some other stuff too what people ask is said you know I think I saw a comment somebody asked am I getting into the 2019 models. Now the only things that really changed on both of these I don't know I haven't really looked at all the stuff. I don't know if they have the same colors coming out. The press work shows that they are, but you know, I don't know. But the only thing that changed on both of these is they put an LCD. Uh, sorry, this is like really dirty because I, I didn't dry them after last time riding them. So uh, they changed the, uh, this to a completely LCD screen. Now, I don't know if I'm like totally into that because I haven't really seen a lot of uh, videos with how it looks but I kind of like seeing like a natural gauge moving I know like my Jeep it's digital in the center but you still have regular real gauges and same with my Hellcat it's the same kind of thing set up with that I kind of like that the only car that I really liked that was all LCD that I owned was when I had a 2002 Honda S2000 back in the day that was awesome at the time there was like no cars like that unless like Ferraris and stuff so that was like the coolest thing to have a dash like that I don't know about these but I'm going to check into them because most likely nothing's changed and the plugs are all the same. I bet you could just swap it all out and put one of these in there and I might just do that. And then basically it looks like the 2019. But I like these, I like these gauges so I don't know. I'd have to see more footage and whatnot. But I know I'm looking at the uh, the CDU Fishing Pro to do like fishing videos but um, I'm gonna figure out what there's the whole plan where I want the goal of these things to do. I want both these jet skis to be doing about like 90 miles per hour next year uh, easily. And so next time like a cigarette boat or any of that stuff comes along, we're gonna just smoke them. We're gonna teach them a lesson. These little jet skis can haul butt. So um, that's about it in this video. I just want to talk about the giveaway. I wish all you guys the best of luck at winning it. And I'm planning to do, like I said, five to 10 giveaways a month. And it could be all from all different stuff, but I had a bunch of these, well, first off too, I got a lot. I don't know how many of these shirts I have. The vintage ones, I think I got like five or six. I'm not giving them all away at once. So, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna make these because I had this other really cool Viper Burst Up Racing shirt that I had um, back in the day. And I was thinking of that some future merch is like some vintage shirt like that and selling them these white ones I don't know if I'm gonna do it again But this is a true vintage shirt. This isn't like recently printed or anything. So it's kind of a cool thing um, And as somebody who wins this if you want it signed, I'm gonna sign this shirt If not, hey, I don't care. I'll give you the, you know send the shirt just how it is But I want to offer that if somebody wants to have something signed I'll sign it if they win um, but I wish you guys the best of luck with this Make sure you guys share my videos with your friends. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you guys smash it. Let's build this into something big. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm hoping tomorrow, if the weather's good, I'm going jet skiing. And the hard thing is out where I'm at, there's like only one place open to go. So I'm hoping, cross my fingers, it's Sunday tomorrow, that there's not everybody in the mothers there and I can actually launch the jet ski and ride. Otherwise, I'll have to wait for the rest of the, the night, this uh, coming week to ride. So it's the end of the video. I appreciate all my subscribers. We're building this huge Bay Wolf Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.